Yo, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys how I was able to successfully connect my AirPods Pro on my Pixel 4 XL while still maintaining all of its cool features like the auto ear detection and many more. Let us begin. So yes, you do not have to be an iPhone owner to benefit from all of its awesome features that these AirPods can offer. Apple has truly done a fantastic job with the release of the new AirPods Pro because after a few weeks of their official release, they are still a trending subject on YouTube. So although I haven't yet posted my review of the AirPods Pro just yet, let me go ahead and quickly share with you guys the quick rundown of my experience with them. These things are absolutely incredible, a real improvement compared from the previous AirPods design. The three different silicone tips that they come included with resolve the fitting issues that many people were experiencing, as these fit very secure. And since they don't have that weird long tube that goes in your ear like other uh, in-ear style earbuds, these are actually very comfortable to wear, especially when working out. They are IPX4 water and dust resistant rated, which gives you a good peace of mind knowing that they're not going to break in case any type of liquid makes contact with them. So they're perfect for the gym. So although in this video for demonstration purposes, we are going to go ahead and pair it with a Pixel 4 XL. but. As long as you're on the latest OS on Android, this method will work perfectly fine on other Android devices. So to begin the pairing procedure, it's really straightforward. Simply take out the AirPods Pro, open up the lid, press and hold the little pair button on the back until the white LED begins blinking. Then on our Android device, in the Bluetooth settings, where Bluetooth's new Discover devices, it should pop up. We simply press on them and we're all set and pair. Now from here, you can continue using the AirPods Pro without having to install or adjust anything in the settings because as it is right now, the active noise cancellation still works because there's no software involved. If you just simply hold down the stem, it will enable it or switch to transparency mode. You may also have full control of your music as audio controls work exactly the same like normal headphones. A single tap will allow you to pause or play whatever track you were listening to, a double tap will allow you to fast forward, a triple tap will allow you to go back. Just leaving it like this, you do lose the ability to launch your Google Voice Assistant, but you can still do this verbally, hands free. Now the microphone quality is exactly the same like it is on the iPhone, which means stereo calling is fully supported, you'll be able to hear the person you're talking to either on the left or the right side, and you can have one earbud off at one time. There's also no audio delay whatsoever when it comes to viewing your video content. There's no lip syncing effect from any latency whatsoever. It is using the latest Bluetooth 5, so there shouldn't be any issues here. But if you leave the AirPods like this, there's a couple things you lose. One, you don't have the auto ear detection. And also, there's no way to see the battery life stats of the AirPods. And you also lose the customizable abilities that you have on iOS on Android. But there's an awesome application that you could download that will actually give you all these cool iOS features to your AirPods. It's called Assistant Trigger. It's free to download and is a must have especially if you plan on actually pairing them up with your AirPods Pro. Now the download is free as I mentioned but to unlock all its feature features I recommend to purchase the full version which is only two bucks. It's not an annual fee or anything like that or a monthly fee unlike other applications. This one is just a one-time purchase and it's totally worth it. Because once you have this application downloaded and purchased, in our notification tab you can actually see the battery life levels of everything now. And the auto ear detection is fully supported. And not only that, it actually gives you like a little cool glow effect. So it's fully integrated to the OS which looks official in my opinion. You do have a setting that you can enable to allow you to actually launch the Google Voice Assistant. So now you don't have to verbally say the sentence, hey, you know the name. With this mode enabled, you simply just tap on the stem once, and then within the five second period, tap it two more times, and it will launch your Google Virtual Voice Assistant just like that. I also really like how they make it so that the AirPods, as soon as they connect, it actually will give up a pop-up card, just like it would like on iOS. This is also fully customizable. You can change the duration or have it turned off completely. So it offers a bit more than what Apple actually gives us. 
This application also not just works with the AirPods Pro, but you can also pair them up to the AirPods 1 or 2 or even the Powerbeat. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share with you guys my setup, how I was able to maintain all of its features when using my AirPods Pro on my Pixel 4 XL. If you want to quickly locate the application, I'll be sure to leave a link in the video description down below. This way you could quickly click on it and take you directly to the Google Play Store. And make sure to stay tuned for the upcoming AirPods Pro re review, which I will include some Android hidden features about these two devices. But in the meantime, feel free to watch these two videos as this one is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They think you're gonna like it. I don't know, check it out, see if it's true. Let me know in the comments if YouTube was right. And this one is my most recent up upload. In case you wanna go ahead and check that video out instead, go ahead and do so. But thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.